Hello people, I'm Vito, and welcome back to Star Fox Adventures with Robberlink. Hello. Alright, where we last left off, we traversed the maze and then did the puzzles in the side of the walled city that opened up. And we got the sun and moon stones, I believe. So we should probably be able to give them to you to open up the portal to the next Krizoa spirit, right? I think that's the plan. Alright. Because I... Because we got all four of the spell stones. Yeah, and that didn't work. Because of course it didn't. The spirit will be revealed once both the sun and moon stones are returned to the temple. Okay, I thought I had to give them to you. I'm sorry, are you not in charge of the temple, or...? <laughs> I don't have hands, what do you think? <laughs> Friggin' who built this place then? <laughs> Good question. It's like, well, we think it was the aliens. It's like, oh, God, they have their own conspiracy theories here. <laughs> it's like, you know what? Forget I asked. Let's just keep going. So I'm guessing mm. if if the portal is at the top, then maybe that's where the spell or not spell stones, but the uh, the sun and moon stones go as well. I guess. Yeah, I don't think I actually went up here, because there was no need to before. No? No slots? Or do I need to put them downstairs where I put the fangs? I would have thought you'd need to put them, like, at the tops of the temples you uh, where you found them, but, like... I didn't see a an interactable section there. Yeah. Hold on, gotta figure out what we're frickin' doing. Oh yeah, there's... There's slots here. Oh. Uh. Maybe they were here the whole time and I just didn't realize? Okay. I should have tried putting the moonstone there first. <laughs> Screw the proper order of things. I'm gonna do it my way. It turns out they're just pressure weights. <laughs> Like, literally any paperweight would do. Yeah, I could have had Tricky step on one while I pushed the other. There it is. Alright, time to climb it again. Yay. <laughs> oh, and apparently, because I wasn't sure about some of the stuff with the cheat tokens, I looked it up. So the one that was talking about a friend was referring to Falco because I wasn't sure. I couldn't remember if he was in the ship in the main menu or not. And I guess he isn't. So I guess he's off doing some other thing at the moment. I was gonna say, I I think that for some reason, uh, I don't even know where I got this information, but like that around this time, he's like off doing his own thing. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know if it's even explained in game anywhere why. So I don't know where you'd have to go to figure out that information. Yeah, like, I don't think uh, you'd even know Falco exists if there's the only Star Fox game you've played. <laughs> Yeah, I just wasn't sure, like, if I didn't see him in a corner of the menu or something, but no, he's not there, apparently. But yeah, other than uh, other than the cheat token, I don't know if he's really mentioned in this game. And then apparently the one that was right after that wasn't referring to Falco, and that's why it wasn't. <laughs> it was saying things like, you know, he's using his evil powers to uh, whatever. It's not talking about Falco anymore. Okay. And apparently I did miss a whopping three cheat token wells, which I will probably go get after the spirit. Yeah, Falco was one of my first thoughts, and then it mentioned, uh, all that, you know, betrayal and stuff, and it's like, uh... Hmm, this doesn't sound like a friend of ours. <laughs> oh yeah, and apparently the general purposes of the cheat tokens, other than those ones, which just give you messages, are to unlock the staff credits in the options menu, the music test, and I think there was one other thing, something about, like, the dinosaur language... I'm not sure if it's to turn it off, maybe? I'm sorry, you have to unlock the staff credits? I guess. Normally you only see it at the end of the game, I guess, otherwise. Huh. You don't get to find out who worked on this game. <laughs> unless you explore every nook and cranny. It's probably like, if you want to see it whenever you want, you have to get the cheat token, otherwise you have to beat the game to see it. Ah. That hmm. would make... A little more sense. All right, so what are we doing here? Uh, 
Tricky's not here, is he? No. Is this another explosive barrel situation? Or is this just to initiate a timer? So maybe there's a timer once I step off of it. Screw it, I have plenty of health. I don't actually care that much. <laughs> oh, I went over that one. Alright. Yep, that was fine. I uh, don't need magic. I could use a tiny bit of health, but that's not important, really. Unless there's gonna be, like, a boss fight. I mean, there was already one where you had to do combat. Yeah, but it was, like, a bunch of tiny enemies. I'm just trying to think, what else are True. they gonna... Are they gonna think up to have me do for these tests? Alright, uh, is there a panel I missed, or do I need to do both of these in the first time limit? Oh, oh wait. Did I see something? Oh, these come back. Weird. Oh. I did. Yeah, I missed that. I only thought of it because I was in one of, like, the first, uh, shrines. I wonder if they're mixing up shrines now. It's like, uh, this is kind of an amalgamation of all the ones you've seen before. Hmm. This looks like a terrible place where they would have me bring an explosive barrel. But luckily, so far, they're not. They're, yeah, they're like, okay, maybe we've overdone it with all the explosive barrel puzzles. Now it's just avoid the flames, if you want to. Because at this point, I don't. <laughs> I really don't have <laughs> Embrace to. the fiery pain. <laughs> The flame of my soul is stronger, or something like that. Sounds like an anime quote. You cannot burn me. I am already on fire. <laughs> With passion. For war. <laughs> All right, what do you want? Test five. The test of knowledge. Match the items with the levels. If you succeed, I will become yours. To return to the Krizoa Palace. Knowledge. Uh. Oh, I see them over there. Okay. Um, not a whole lot of time. What is this? I can't tell from here. Uh. Oh, that must be some sort of thing I had to place somewhere. Just not sure where. I got nothing. Maybe it's part of a totem, but this is the thing that was in the Cloud Runner Fortress, which I think was this thing. Does that look like Cloud Runner yeah, Fortress? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. It made a good ding. A skull? Oh, that's the Snowhorn... No, trumpet, this is... Right? This is a fang. Well, I failed already. So, Walled City? Okay, it was red, so I thought it was wrong for a sec. Yeah, I need to do this faster. This is the horn. Oh. Where's Snowhorn Place? The Snowhorn Place? No, that's the moon? Oh, no, moon yeah. Moon Pass? Moon Mountain Pass, yeah. I thought you meant, like, the actual moon. I'm like, what? <laughs> so did I. I'm like, wait, there's no actual moon. It's just called Moon Pass or whatever. All right, well, that's easy enough. I can jump through everything again. Except this cutscene. Screw you, you loser. Screw you, I'm free! <laughs> Yune? Yeah. Alright, uh, I got half my health back. I'll just have to sacrifice some more, or I could play a little bit safe. But time. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh... It's not a fight. I, I think you have enough health to spare. <laughs> Speed mode it is, then. Whoops, that's not the right way. Whee! <laughs> A little bit charred, a little bit singed, but, uh, we made it. Yep. Uh, I guess we'll, uh, just see you in a moment or something then. Dang it, these block me. <laughs> that was that one was a little unnecessary. <laughs> I thought maybe I could just walk through these, but no, they're the special kind of wall fire that actually block me. Ah, okay. Okay, I can see these places ahead of time. So that's Cloud Runner Fortress. What is this? 
That is uh, whatever it's called. Uh, Where you got abducted. Yeah. By those dinosaurs that that jumped. Yeah, Moon Mountain Pass, like you said. Uh, Lightfoot Village, that's what it's called. Yes, that. Then that's the Walled City. Was is that under um, Thorntail Hollow? Maybe. It also looks like under the Dark Ice Mines, kind of. What the frick is this? Uh, cave. We certainly haven't been in more than one of those. I don't know. To me, it looks kind or of like a nebula sort of thing, <laughs> like outer space. Maybe it is supposed to be ice. I don't think that's a good thing if someone can't tell if if two people are confused on whether it is a cave or a nebula. It's a pretty bad situation. Yeah, I guess I'll just have to try and figure out. Alright, yeah, I know your deal. Just I wish you gave me a little bit more time. Alright, so this thing looks like a totem-ish sort of thing, so it might be for Lightfoot Village. Yes. Okay. Whoops. A skull-ish thing, or maybe this is a meteor? So would it go in outer space? Yes. Okay. I guess it, it is space then. All right. Uh, yeah. Fang. It's Walt City. I should just get the ones I know out of the way, I guess. This goes to Cloud Runner Fortress. Oh, I saw the seed. Whatever the crescent seed thing is. Here. Oh. Yeah, that's definitely Moon Mountain Pass. Wait, where is Moon Mountain Pass? Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. I kind of guessed into that one. I was like, oh, it's right. Wait, where is it? So then is this here? Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, that did look like a cave to me, but I guess it was the Snowhorn area. It works. Yep. All right, so then there's this one and then the last one, which is probably going to have a teleport point that we saw in the top of the palace. You did it. You collected the fifth Krizoa spirit. It will remain in your body until you take it to the Krizoa palace where it must be released. Which I'm not going to do yet. This is it, Tricky. It's time to say goodbye. Not yet. <laughs> I know you're right, Fox. It's just... Yeah, I know. I'm gonna miss you too. Without your help, this mission would have failed. So I've got something for you. Prince Tricky, Earthwalker, you are now an honorary member of the Star Fox team. Dad, did you hear that? Me, a member of Star Fox. Do I get my own spaceship? <laughs> I was thinking about saying that. <laughs> I'll come and visit you soon. Just don't make it too long, okay? Where are we going? Nope, he doesn't stay behind. <laughs> but yeah. Were they expecting we? you to get this one? Or is he? Huh. Oh. Get me an R-Wing with, like, pedal controls, okay? <laughs> I was gonna say, were they expecting you to get this one last? And there's... And the other one... Actually, where's the other one again? You mean spirit-wise? Uh, Krizoa spirit, yeah. Well, like I said, I think it's gonna be at the top of the palace. Oh. That's what I suspect, because there was that one that was, like, caged at the top. That teleporter. Or it looked huh. like a teleport panel. I don't remember, but... I believe you. Yeah, I don't remember him staying behind here, specifically. It's a little odd, because then what if I left secrets that I need him for? Oh, well. Let's go, Fox! Get that spirit directly back to the Krizoa Palace! 
I have adjusted your flight path. Oh, come on. You can do that? As soon as you get there, head down inside to release the spirit. Pepper out. Then why do we have to go through the whole breaking in part the first time we went there? <sighs> I was really hoping you'd let me get those other wells, but I guess he might not. Oh, that too. Can I cancel and force myself somewhere else? Wow, it will not let me. Uh, wow. Hmm. I wonder if this is, yeah, just directly into the end game. Like, well, you can't even go to Dinosaur Planet, or? Yeah, he said he altered the flight path, so. Uh. Yeah, so if that's the case, then what I might need to do is. Maybe I'll just beat the game, and then if it doesn't save, maybe I'll go back before putting the stones in place and getting the spirit. Wait, I'm trying to remember. Where is Crizoa Palace exactly? He had to go through the warp stone. Right, so... How's this working? <laughs> Screw it, I guess. We could have we could have flown there this entire time. Huh. It's time like these that I wish I did actually remember a few things about the game. It's like, oh, after this point, you can't do that one thing. Like, go back. Well, it is, you know, apparently going into the end game, so makes sense you might not remember that. But there's a lot I don't really remember or didn't. Hmm. Whoops, I missed one. Yeah, I even went and made a very primitive looking map of the maze and the points and marked the points that we didn't go. Hmm. So if it doesn't initiate a boss fight, I wonder if I can just backtrack to the warp stone teleport. <laughs> <laughs> Again, though, you wouldn't have Tricky, would you? I shouldn't need him to get to the the wells, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I do. Uh, let's see if this works. Down. And then... Further down. Not all the way down, because that will hurt and take me too far. No, I can't turn now. <laughs> okay, well, it hurt a bit. Nice landing. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, the tele... Oh, come on. It's right there. I can't believe they installed a fence. <laughs> Our one weakness. I'm tempted to just, like, go back, get them, and then redo the spirit thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, what do you think? I'd say we're already here. Let's just keep going. Alright. Fine. Fair enough. Let me just get back up there. You had to you have to go through this one or? Yeah, like I mentioned before, they have the triangles on them that indicate the direction. Oh, that's right. Of the wind flow. Sorry, I forgot how air works for a <laughs> moment. Alright, so one of these two I already did. I guess it's this one, so I have to do the other one. Let me stock up on health in case this is the final boss fight. But is it the final, final boss? Who knows? Is there anyone else to fight? Okay, I can't put it there either. Was there... I don't think there was one behind here, was there? I don't think so. No. Or do I just have to give it directly? Like, do I just walk up here? Oh, wait, more health? How do I give? <laughs> Where do I give? Huh. Did? Actually, did General Pepper say you have to go down from the top? 
I don't remember him saying so, but maybe. Yeah, see there... There's another teleporter, which I imagine is the final spirit location, because this is the fifth and not the sixth. Okay, uh... Down was this way. Yeah, now I'm just kind of confused, because I don't remember there being another one that I didn't open here. You're sure? I don't know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what did these look like when I already used them? It's just there. Uh, tricky? Feel like helping? Wait, tricky? Or slippy, sorry. Go back down inside the palace and find a place where you could not cross before. Does it mean to go towards where Crystal came in? Or what is this? Was this here before? I don't... I'll remember this. I don't remember this at all. Like, I don't remember seeing the torches there that just had nothing. Or something that I could never open behind the torches. I, I definitely don't remember, like, that little ramp downwards. Yeah. But even the wall that led to it. I don't remember there just being torches that were completely blocked off. I'm not confident in my memory to say either way for that one. Yeah, sorry, not torches blocked off, but torches next to a, a, a blocked wall. off wall. Yeah, or something. No, in the time we were gone, uh, they carved this whole area. Okay, why is this spirit just get a nice view from, like, a nice balcony view, <laughs> and all the others are stuck inside? I don't know, he was stuck up in one of his own place. Can I see the entrance from down? From up here, I mean? I'm not sure if that's where Crystal started out down there. Hmm. It could be. All right. Confusion over. We found it. Nah, get out of me. This is my body. And I do not like sharing. It didn't take any of our knowledge, right? <laughs> We're still here in one piece mentally, right? Right? <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> yep. Who am I? There's that teleporter. That Fox now magically knows about. <laughs> because he was granted a third person POV. For just a fraction of a second. Uh, why they call it astral projection. <laughs> yes. They really should astral project an elevator into this place. <laughs> I guess that's technically what these wind tunnels are. It just takes a while to walk between them. <laughs> we. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's the statue. I need to go to the other side. Whoops. Sorry, this place is kind of symmetrical. Okay. What have we got this time? Probably another stupid challenge. Unless you don't want to do that. Which would be fine by me. If you want to just say, Okay, here, final spirit. You can have me. <laughs> like, I'm already right outside where you need to put me. <laughs> Really, I'm barely even, like, locked up. There is one enemy to kill. Haha, <laughs> one. <laughs> that sounds easy. I've been waiting for you, Fox McCloud. Yeah! You may have returned the spellstones, but the war is not over yet. Now you must face me. <laughs> Why do you make the weird <laughs> noise? He's like, uh -huh. 
He doesn't know what to do. <laughs> you can do nothing. I was going to make a joke about it being general scales or like a projection of him, but you actually flame this time on like the test of courage or whatever, where it was just kind of like jump scaring. Black scales! You are no longer any use to me. We just started. Who are you? I demand you show yourself. I am the one you brought to Krozoa Palace. The Earthwalkers could see me, but you could not. I don't understand. No, I didn't think you would. Your desire for power overwhelmed you and blinded you to the truth inside. Now give Fox what he's looking for. Give him the final Krozoa spirit. You will regret this. <laughs> Yeah, so apparently as soon as I tried pulling out the staff, it initiated this. It was huh. in him all this time. But that it, voice, I he recognize dead? it from somewhere. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but was I right about the Krizoa spirits being evil or something? Because I don't actually remember that. And yeah, I thought I'd fight scales like where Crystal is. Yeah. For some reason. Huh. Well, that was easy. Press A to pull out staff, and that <laughs> makes me win. It wasn't even a fight, it was just... You shielding, watching him stumble around. And you're like, alright, I guess we'll actually fight. Enough! <laughs> like, I didn't even get to swing at him yet. <laughs> yeah. What was it? We don't even know what this was the spirit of. Yeah, but like you said, if they're just tests of whatever, that doesn't necessarily mean they're spirits of the same thing. So I don't know. This is the spirit of betrayal. <laughs> You'll never guess what he does. <laughs> Is this the saving process, or...? No! Hold on. Save game is in progress. Please do not turn off your console. <laughs> Wake up! Wake up! Explodes. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Uh, what are you waiting for? Do you mind? <laughs> I, I I don't have all day. Yeah. Oh. I am reborn, the mighty Krasoa God. Kill <laughs> all those that stand before me. <laughs> You give me that. Hey, wait. Well, thanks for nothing. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be standing here at all. My staff, you're back. I do remember her taking a staff. It's weird because I thought I remember actually fighting scales, but I guess maybe I was just remembering that sequence where it's like, oh, you're gonna fight him. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Oh, okay. I get it. It's gonna be kind of like Andros. Meanwhile, she's, she's still shooting. Hey, wait, watch it. You're gonna hit the back of my ship. Fly through one gold ring. Oh God, what the? Oh, it is him. To see you again, Fox McCloud. Andros. And now, to destroy the Lilac system! When did you get that accent? But yeah, that I is Andros. Is the, I think this is the first game I've seen him in, so... Ooh. Do I have barrel roll? Yes, I do. Uh, I didn't prevent that. Eh. I vaguely remember this. 
Yeah, I forgot it was actually Andros. <laughs> I see stuff I on your fingers or hands. Yeah. Your palms. Sorry, I was thinking too quickly, so I said fingers. <laughs> People are like, how did this happen, though? Like, what? I don't know. <laughs> like, what happened in the last game prior to Star Fox Adventures? I wonder if that would be 64. Uh... Oh, wait. Can I bomb you if I have one? I don't have one, though. Ouch. Yeah, I don't remember exactly how this boss fight works. Yeah, I saw the things on his palms, but I don't think I had the opportunity to shoot them. For some reason, this reminds me a little bit of Moon Lord. Just the three eyes. Was it three eyes? I think so, and... Whoop. I think it also had, like, vulnerable points on the palms. You know... You're talking about the uh, Moon Lord from Terraria, right? Yeah. Oh, maybe... I wonder if he drops more items if I shoot those. Yeah, the asteroids. Maybe that's how I do it. But also, I did actually hurt the palms this time. Hmm. Probably not much, though. It, so, is it ever explained? In... Like... Is there any other fight like this where he's just a giant head? Yeah, I think that's how it always is, usually. Is there, uh, an explanation? I don't know. Because I haven't played the first one. Supposedly there's a second one that was only released recently with the SNES Classic, which I do have. And then 64. And then I don't know if there's any others between them and this. Hmm. How did I miss that one ring? And how do I do literally anything against this? Can you contact Slippy? No. The one time we need him. Yeah. I feel like I am supposed to get bombs somehow. So maybe if I can get rid of his hands or something, maybe he'll give me one. I don't have infinite health for this. Ouch. Man, another thing that I'm expecting to have that I don't is the ability to charge. Oh, but, you don't? Yeah, I can just hold it and it still I was, fires. I was kind of wondering why you weren't. Yeah, I've been trying. <laughs> just out of habit from Assault. Assault, yeah. Yeah, I, I must say, I much prefer uh, fighting his nephew. Uh, Oinkity? <laughs> yeah. Let me fight the incompetent one, please. Oh, wait. Uh -huh. That works. Okay. There is a point to barrel roll. We're making progress. Okay, yeah, and then he doesn't go back to the first phase. Ouch. They yeah, always also kind of thought the whole, like, thing was cool. Like, I thought the head looked weird for Awakening's flagship. But, like, the head and two floating hands that are, like, remotely controlled. I always thought that was kind of a cool design. Wait. Unfortunately, this guy is just ugly. <laughs> Oh, wait. That's Ouch. new. Yeah. My first instinct was to shoot at them to try and get them to drop a freaking item. Like, I'm sorry for people watching that I didn't realize I was supposed to actually barrel roll out of the way of the suction thingy. I did not remember. Ow. Also, that's annoying. I can't barrel roll unless I fully press it. Ah. Uh. So I'm like half pressing, expecting it to be enough, but it's not. Because it's the L and R button. Well, I may die. And you have your hands... Oh, no, wait. No, that's back. For a sec, I thought the crystal was gone on it. it I swear they were. Oh, that does not help. Yeah, the beeping. I was afraid of the amount of health you gained. Yeah, it's, it's like, like one fourth of a heart. 
Whoa, well, that's new. You weren't doing that before. Is that good? Probably not. Okay, well now that I kinda know what I'm doing, at least partially, let me try again. Okay. Well, let me just uh, snag a buffom dad. Got like 10 of them in here. <laughs> just rummages in a glove compartment. He pulls out buffom dad. <laughs> Uh, can I skip? <laughs> to destroy the Lynette system, don't you interrupt me. <laughs> yeah, my hand's getting tired from spamming this. <laughs> it's also uh, past the point where we normally end an episode. Yeah. just really want to freaking get this done. I don't know. Do you think I should just end it and separate it? Uh, I'd say keep going for now. If you don't get him on this attempt, uh, give your hands a break for a few minutes <laughs> and then start a new episode. All right. Because there's probably going to be more story and like epilogue stuff after this anyway. True. All right, I'm Dude, back at four. Where are you storing all those rocks and rings? <laughs> you don't have a stomach. I don't know. Maybe there's a lot of asteroids behind us and the other mouth is eating them. So, yeah, I guess that's just how that goes. I destroy his hands once and then he turns back around. And then he shoots missiles. Annoyingly. So, are the Crozoa exactly spirits still, or like, how is he connected? Yeah, it is weird. It's like, you'd think Andros is probably not as ancient as whatever these spirits are, but yet somehow he's connected to them. It's like, I went out of my way to set up this entire spiritual system to resurrect myself. <laughs> like, what'd you do? Go to the I, past to I'm, set it up? I manipulated an entire religion into existence for a species of dinosaurs on a <laughs> far-off planet in the event that I die. So that my nemesis would hopefully go on a quest to unintentionally revive me. Yeah, pretty much. No, you don't. Alright, so it does work against the asteroids for some reason. The, uh, what do you call it? barrel roll. That's not actually a barrel roll. Hmm. The aileron roll? Yes. And it's making it hard to hit. Okay, there it goes. Ah. Why is that freaking missing? Yes, give me my health back. Thank you. Give me another. Thank you. Alright. That's Doing a good, good. Andros. Yeah. <laughs> it's feeding time. Feed me your rings. Feed me a bomb, please, and I mean, like, one that I can use against you. Or, you know, at least maybe a weapon upgrade so we can speed this up. Hey, McCloud. Different time, different planet, and you still oh. need Falco's help. It's good to see you, buddy. Oh, so were the cheat token things referring to this game? I thought they were just referring to things that might happen in the future and, like, just leaving it open-ended, but no, I guess it's referring to this, because, yeah, Andros is here, Falco's here, it talked about both of them. Huh. Alright. There we go, that's the bomb I need. Yeah, I remembered, when he sucks up, it's, like, perfect point to fling a bomb at him. Oh. Oh. What? That's right. Brain attack. Yeah. I think in Star... Blows up our wing with mind. Yeah, I want to say in Star Fox 64, you have to kill his brain somehow. Was it with Nintendo and having you always directly attack the brain? <laughs> I don't know. Where else is that a thing? Uh, there's like mother brain in multiple occasions. I guess that's true. Uh, earlier in this game, the... Uh, big dinosaur that had the spell stone in its forehead. I guess that's true as well. 
kind of have to impale the brain or whatever. Who thought this was a... Who thought this was good game design and who approved it? Uh, Rareware and Nintendo. That's right. More health, please. And my bomb. He's only giving me one silver ring now, and that's annoying. I thought I were going to complain about Falco. It's only giving me one bomb. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Suddenly. Ah, ah. <laughs> uh. So, uh, where you been, Falco? How's it going? Have a nice vacation? <laughs> the way he was jostling, it almost seemed like Fox like wasn't attached to the inside of the R wing. <laughs> Which I mean probably technically isn't. So oh. we finally win? Oh, of course, the spirits have to go back into the, you know, islands. Of course, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, but there's only four islands and there's six spirits. Where the other two go? I guess that one gets two. <laughs> well, we did it. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Can I go get those wells now? Can I get paid now? <laughs> So the sharp claws are just unilaterally good now? <laughs> I guess. I suppose without general scales, they're just kind of aimless and don't care. <laughs> <laughs> There's like, well, boss is dead. <laughs> Party! Makes me think of Halo grunts. Yeah. <laughs> is defeated once again. You all did a great job. General Papa here. Good work, Star Fox team. I received a message from the King and Queen Earthwalker thanking you for saving their world. Oh, and Tricky says hi. I was, however, very surprised to hear that Andros was still alive. Not as much as we were. It seems that Andros discovered the ancient power of the Krizoa, and by trapping Crystal, who had the ability to channel this power, he was able to use this energy to revive himself. At least this time we'll see the last of him. I'm transferring your fee as we speak. Ever out. Woohoo! Yeah! We can finally repair the ship! And I really need some oil. These joints are not what they used to be. And I can't wait to get back with the Star Fox team. Hey guys, you don't mind if I hang with you again, do you? Sure, Falco. It's great to have you back. The Star Fox team is back together again! Oh, Fox! I almost forgot! I received this message from Crystal. Hi, Fox. I really appreciate what you did for me. I'm just so sorry we didn't get much of a chance to talk. I'm left with just one more thing to do. And that's to say thank you. Well, uh, okay. Uh, I mean, sure, no problem. <laughs> You're not shy, are you, Fox? My sensors indicate Fox's temperature is rising. Are you Dang okay, furry. Fox? <laughs> <laughs> gonna be just fine I realized he has his staff on his back <laughs> despite crystal taking it <laughs> that's probably an oversight yeah all right it's done woo I'm trying to think of what we should play next so it's sorry you're gonna say something I was gonna say I'm a uh... Hopefully, whatever we play next will have better voice acting, because, um... 
or like voice directing, because uh, a lot of the dialogue in this seemed uh, kind of forced. Yeah, a little. <laughs> is it is it better or worse than no mercy? <laughs> At least it feels like there was some emotion in that. <laughs> <laughs> just thinking it's funny because I think he just says that every time he gets a kill. So yeah. there, there are times where you'll just hear him say it multiple times in a row. <laughs> no mercy. No mercy. <laughs> no mercy. It's like I'm trying to fly here. <laughs> it's like, I guess you're doing good. Uh, I guess that's good. But please stop staying. <laughs> no mercy. Like, cut the chatter. Yeah. Uh, where's the radio silence option? <laughs> so yeah, I was thinking among our options, there's we could go for the the older game that was by Rareware, Donkey Kong 64. I was also thinking thinking about uh, the Star Wars Battle for Naboo game, which is very similar to Rogue Squadron. Hmm. Uh... We could also do, like, one of the RTS games, but that would require us going to the PC, so I don't know if I want to... Like, a different PC than what we're using right now, so I don't know if I want to do that. Because <laughs> there was Galactic Battlegrounds. Yeah, That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just thinking about all our options. There's also um, the Jet Fighter game... Top Gun Combat Zones. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we still have plenty of options. There's still plenty of stuff to do. It's just... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Radiant Dawn has been taking so long. <laughs> We've been playing that game for, like, over a year. <laughs> I... Genuinely. I, I, okay. I actually think we may have been done with it by now if we had started off with the combat animations set to off or quick. But, like... It's too cool watching yeah, it's our like soldiers part, like get crits and stuff. Yeah, it's part of the appeal is watching, you know, the close up cinematics. Yeah. It's a very cinematic experience. Oh, for a sec I thought that said head of rage QA. <laughs> like <laughs> rage? No, rare. Uh Alright, you almost done? Special thanks, that should be near the end, yes? It's also a little strange to me that it's abbreviating all the first names. Hmm. I remember hearing that in much older days, like around NES times, maybe even before then, it was common for pseudonyms to be used because people were poaching developers. So. <laughs> huh. Which is odd, but. Hmm. Well, interesting game. Do I save or not save? Because if it didn't save, I can go and get those wells. The thing is, I don't know if that's long enough for a bonus episode, but maybe it is. Maybe it'll be a short bonus episode. I could do that. I mean, why not if this is extra long? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's going to be annoying, though, if, if that means you can't get 100% in a game. Well, I mean, technically, I guess you can. It's just not going to stay that way on the save file. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is weird. Oh, that would bother me so much. Huh. All right. Well, I guess we'll end it here for now. Hope you enjoyed. We will be back for a bonus episode if you want to stick around for it. But we will end this here for now, and we will see you guys then. So goodbye for now. Goodbye. Goodbye.